Hey guys, welcome back to Coaster Brothers. Today, for the final episode of West Coaster Tours. I hope you guys are enjoying this series so far. It's the very final episode. We're at Six Flags Magic Mountain. This is a very awesome Six Flags Park. Very excited to go in. It's going to be so awesome. I can't wait. Um, we just did um, drone footage of the park. And uh, it doesn't look like there's any crowds at all. It looks like it's dead. But uh, Dean, Premier Thrills, who's going to be meeting up with us later, said that um, it looks like he, uh, it looks like X2 and Twisted Colossus will be closed for the day. I'm praying that that is not the case, but we will have to see. I'm going to be so devastated if that's the case. But we also have Charlie, Coaster member of Coaster Brothers here for today's vlog. Absolutely. And, of course, Coaster Dad. Of course. Yeah. So, I will see you guys inside the park. All right, guys. Well, we're inside the park now. Uh, headed straight for X2. Not crowded at all by the looks of the uh, parking lot. So that's very good. But yeah, we're headed to X2. According to the app, it's open. Saw it testing earlier, but it is high winds for X2. So it may not be open. The app says it's open. So we're gonna go check it out. But literally like no one's here. So X2 is probably close to a walk-on. Probably not really a walk-on. I'm assuming it's not a walk-on. No. X2 will never be a walk-on, but probably a short wait. And they're just running one train, of course. But uh, classic Six Flags fashion, right? Oh yeah, I mean, that's very on brand. It's part of their whole, whole image, the one train ops, you know, don't start testing the rides until an hour into the park is yeah. open. All right, well, we'll see you guys over at X2. We just know. Alright guys, well uh can't ride X2. Ten minute dispatches, one train. That walk on is turning into a massive line that's gonna eventually come out of the entrance. Um if it was having good operations, you know, like sixty second dispatches, two train ops, this would probably not have as long of a line, but I mean Come on, Six Flags. You gotta operate these coasters better because X2 has some of the worst operations and dispatches I've ever seen. Like, literally ever. 10 minutes is the last one I timed. Crazy. All right, guys, well, now we have Dean with us. I'm finally back at Magic Mountain. Oh my God. I mean, I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. All right. Finally, guys, we're doing our first ride. Batman, b &M Invert. I'm sure you're excited, Trevor. <laughs> no, I might forget to smile. Yeah. All right, here we are, guys, about to get on. Um, it's a walk-on, but it's not good for Charlie. Because... Get it out of the way, one and done. Um, just so you guys know, we're only going to be doing a few reactions today because we don't have a lot of time. Um, maybe a POV or two, but uh, not a lot of on-ride footage today. About to do uh, Batman, b and Invert. Super excited. Are you excited, Charlie? No. I am not excited because this ride sucks. Yeah. I mean, we'll have to see. Was horrible. What did you think? <laughs> Charlie, what did you think? <laughs> yeah? Oh. I thought it was decent. Okay. Well, I mean, it wasn't terrible, but it definitely wasn't 
outstanding or amazing or anything like that. Uh, and now we sit here on the brakes for about, uh, I would say, maybe five Yeah, this is a horrible, horrible yeah. operation. It wasn't as bad as I remember, but it was just super weak. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That was really good. What did you think? That was, that was awesome. really good. It was better than And there goes the train that we should have dueled with. Yeah. Sad. I like Alright guys. Well, we just got off uh Twist Colossus. We didn't duel at all, but that is still a great ride. Yeah, it was still um, really good, especially like the outer banks and Yeah, stuff. awesome airtime. Yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna ride it a couple more times. It looks like the line is moving pretty fast. Uh so yeah i'll see you guys at the next ride what do you think we should do next maybe lex luther yeah i want to get another ride on it yeah it was Definitely. decent last No, I don't. It's obvious. So. Today is your lucky day. Today your life changes forever. And this may very well be the high point of your insignificant existence. <laughs> Dude, that was awesome. <laughs> Alright guys, well we just did uh, a Lex ride Luther. on Lex Luthor. That was really good, I gotta say. We got the uh, the other side this time instead of the one facing Yeah, back. we got front row POV too. Um, and, I mean, just a POV. Yeah. Uh, no I mean, no was, real rows. It was really good. Here, here's, the only thing I don't like about it is when you're at the top and it's like telling you, like, <laughs> it's time to drop you, whatever. And then the audio just cuts out. That is the scariest thing ever. Oh my god. So, yeah. Well, yeah, but that was, um, 
a very good ride. We have two rides on Twisted Colossus now. Fantastic RMC hybrid. We got front row POV and reaction. And I just love that RMC. Although I hate how it's set up with the dueling. Because you just, you're not guaranteed to duel every time. And I just hate that. West Coast Racers is guaranteed to duel every time. But West Coast Racers is mid. You know, we need we need dueling every single time on Our Twisted Colossus. Close it for like six months, just like rework the block system so it can actually like. Yeah, so if you're listening, Magic Mountain, just please, you know, uh, uh, change the dueling operations on X2, not at Twisted Colossus. Yeah, change the dueling operations on Twisted Colossus. What I was thinking is that um after you finish the first half. Uh, you go into a little um, break run, yeah. and then you start to crest the second lift hill. Yeah. What I was thinking is that um, when you hit that break run, the train should be held there until the train loading in the station is ready to um, ready to dispatch. So then once that train dispatches, um, they can release it from uh, the break run. And that's just just a perfect idea because... Then you'll be guaranteed dueling every time. You may have to sit on that break run for a while. But if you guys get better, if Magic Mountain gets better at the operations on uh, Twisted Colossus, maybe uh, you wouldn't have to wait on the break run. But uh, today we've been seeing some pretty, pretty shitty operations. Yeah, I mean, with Twisted Colossus, I feel like... They have to check it like six times. I yeah, think. and X2. Don't even get me started on X2. That's where we're headed next. I know. I'm so excited. I know. I'll see you guys. Well, we'll see you guys on the ride. Here we go. X2. We're going to be getting back row. I know. I'm excited. It's my favorite coaster. So I excited. think this is my second favorite coaster. Uh, so but hopefully, I want, I don't know why, but I want this to be my favorite coaster. So let me just get a couple more rides on it and hopefully it'll become my number one. I just, I don't know why I just want this to be my number one, but it's just it's not just, quite it's, there yet. It's extreme. That's why. Extreme, yeah, you're right. Let's go. Well, went down. Uh, X2. I mean, expected. This is Magic Mountain. Yeah, X2 is just very unreliable. I really like, I'm not impressed at all at like the operations on this coaster. Uh, 10 minute dispatches usually. I mean, this is very high technology. I know, um, and even for 2002, I mean, that is crazy. Yeah, uh, pretty sad, but uh, we're gonna go ride Tatsu, then come back here. Which, okay, this might be controversial, but I do like Tatsu more than Twisted Colossus. So I'm excited to go ride Tatsu. So. Yeah, I mean, I was kind of um, uh, contemplating that the last time I was here. What's better, Twisted Colossus, Tatsu? Definitely, um, I mean, I need to ride it again, but Tatsu is amazing. Like, um, I, like insane b and flyer. I would put, like, Twisted Colossus, Tatsu, and Wonder Woman all to, like, they're, like, really close. Uh, I would put Tatsu on top, but, yeah, we will see you guys at Tatsu. Tatsu. ta ta, -ta. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go, guys. Tatsu. The line that was super long earlier is it's now- really nothing. No line. Well, here's the thing. It did break down like two or three times, so that's probably why. But here we go, Tatsu. Yeah, I'm very excited. Love Tatsu. Best B&M flyer for flyer, sure. For sure. I mean, uh, but are you ready, Charlie? Because it's a it's a B&M. I'm ready. It's a oh. good one. Yeah, fantastic B&M. But you know, it's as as you know, Charlie's been on a bunch of vlogs now. He hates B&M. Is it a B&M invert or a floorless? No. So then we're good. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean it has if best. it's one of those two, it's likely bad. I has, see. I mean, it has best, so it won't get it. Yeah, definitely. And the dive coaster vests are not so restrictive. I know. These are so, like, thick and they're not as tight, so it's not bad. Yeah, definitely not as bad. But new B&M, yeah. favorite manufacturer. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, this is probably my second favorite being out. It's really good. Like, just know. behind Fury. What's your first? Yeah.
God, guys. Just got an amazing ride on Tatsu. Best BM flyer for sure. Second best in the park. Definitely better than uh, Twisted Colossus. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this ride is absolutely amazing. I mean, no. it's so What intense. did you think, Charlie? Oh, it's First awesome. time on? Amazing. In fact, Charlie actually fully blacked out on the pretzel yeah, loop. Yeah, yeah. Last pretzel thing, loop last right thing here. I heard was uh, him saying, hold your breath. Yeah, because and if you hold your breath, you're guaranteed to gray out. I was out. Did you hold your breath? Out. No, I was like, what do you mean hold? I thought <laughs> I thought you were saying it to make you black out more. It is. Like That's that. exactly what oh, it okay. does. Well, I didn't, and uh, I still blacked out. <laughs> All right, guys, here we are. X2 back here. Yep. Um, it went down originally, but try. it looks like it's back up again, so let's do it. That's just never lets up. That's terrifying. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm speechless. That is a that is amazing. That ride is out of control, insanity. This proves this, this is, is my, my new I know this is my new number one. So this is actually probably an unpopular Thuzi opinion, you know? Yeah, but uh I, this is my number one coaster. It's uh, good. Still Iron Gwazi, number two, but X2 yeah. has beaten Iron Gwazi. Iron Gwazi is no longer it's my number just... one. Iron Gwazi was my number one for 300, uh, 360, uh, yeah, I think 363 days. Because the first time I rode Iron Gwazi, it immediately became my number one. Yeah. Now I'm riding this again. I can confirm this is my number one now. And, uh, it's just like every single time we ride. Yeah, so Iron Gwazi is my number one for 363 days. And now uh, X2, I don't know how long it will be my number one, but it is officially my number one. Probably an unpopular opinion. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's just every time we ride, we are still terrified. And it's still I know, this is the only coaster that still scares me a little bit. Like, like, it's hard to get me scared on roller coasters. And it's not really like scared, but it's like... You know, like you can feel the rush so much yeah, more. It's always when you're in the back row, going over the little the entrance that way. Oh, the, uh, uh, the entrance yeah, is yeah. open. It's just always like you dip, and then the full drop it is so crazy. Oh my god. <sighs> so now I think we're gonna see if Wonder Woman is reopened. Yep. Uh, but we'll see what we do next. All right, guys. Well, uh, what are we doing next, Dean? I like. Apocalypse or West Coast Racers or something, I don't know. Yeah, uh, we have West Coast Thrills. Hey, hey, follow me, West Coast Thrills Instagram. Yeah. Uh, I love this ride. I want to go back. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Diabolic is very I, good. I mean, we yeah. were just there like one month ago and yeah. I still miss it. And we have uh, Mr. Six's bus over here. Yeah. It's been out here for forever. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think. Uh, what do you want to do, Dean? Like. Um. Uh, whatever's open and is near us. Yeah, maybe we should do Twisted Colossus again. I don't know. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, I, I like Twisted. Or how long is the line for? Uh, no, never mind. That's long. Uh, West Coast Racers never is a walk on ever. Yeah. I mean, not worth it. I'll wait 10 minutes for West Coast races. I like it though. It's, I think it's pretty cool. But yeah, but uh, comfort collars are horrible. Yeah, I do not like the comfort collars. They have, yeah. yeah. they have it on electric eel too. Yeah, they have it on eel. Ah, well, do you want to really wait? Yeah, that's what I do. Yeah. Sure? Yeah. Uh, all right, well, I'm gonna do West Coast races. All right, guys. Well, we're about to get a ride. 
I'm excited. I guess. I don't know. Hopefully, it gives her depth. I guess. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, love West Coast Racing. Sure I, I like the concept of it. Uh, you know, I just, I just, I have mixed the, like mixed feelings on it. Horrible restraints, not insanely intense. There are some good airtime moments, but like, uh, I just can't, I just can't wait to unlatch my comfort collar. I mean, I know I'm called Premier Thrills, but I don't like any of the Premier Rides coasters. So then, why are you Premier Thrills? Because a good name. Okay? <laughs> Uh, yeah. Wait, I did the mummy today. That was really good. So I can say some premier rides coasters are bad. Oh, and you think Mr. Freeze is mid? Go watch Dean's Six Flags Over Texas vlog, where he says that Mr. Freeze was very good and intense. No, actually, no. You said it's insane. So, uh, yeah, go watch that. Dean's gonna tell, like, if you, if anyone asks Dean what he thinks of Mr. Freeze, he's gonna say it's mid. Just go watch his Six Flags Over Texas vlog. Right here. Just go watch it. Because he says Mr. Freeze is awesome. Okay, Mr. Freeze, right, it's, it's not mid, it's, okay. it, it has some good moments, but like half the ride is really bad. How? The watch is terrible, the spike is boring, and it's all play on I guess. Uh, well, we're about to ride West Coast Racers right here. Uh, now let's do it. Alright guys, well. We finished up a ride on West Coast Races. Oh my god, uh, absolutely terrible. Now, I know I diss a lot of rides, and you guys might think it's ridiculous. This ride sucks. Like, it's actually terrible. Like, I it's know. so bad. It's, and you want to know why it is? It's those comfort collars. It's insane. I, I, I'm serious. Like, it's insane how much that restraint system can ruin West Coast Races. Without the comfort collars, it wouldn't be an intense ride or amazing or top tier or anything, but it would be a fun family coaster that duels, like it, it's guaranteed to duel every time. That would just be so good. But then you've got these weirdly shaped comfort collars. Most comfort oh, collars bent. are like, yeah, they're like bent, bent which uh, forces the top of the collar up to your head yeah. instead of just resting on your shoulders. It's and it weird. just smacks against your head. It's, if you don't hit your head on the like, comfort collars, you're going to hit your head on the back which is super weird, and it's really dumb. Yeah, so, I mean, it has a um, lot of potential. Like, you've got full throttle, which we didn't ride because I just, it had a long line, yeah, it's, it's mid, down. and it's mid, yeah. so, uh, but yeah. Um, but even though full throttle is not the greatest ride, it is still miles better than West Coast Racing, yeah. so that is for sure. <laughs> for sure, yeah. Um, so, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying this vlog so far because this is the final episode of West Coast Tour. I'm very sad, sad. but uh, yeah, this is episode seven. So if you haven't watched the other vlogs yet in the series, there'll be a link to do that right up in the corner here, uh, and in the description. Make sure to check out Dean's yeah. Coast series. I was series planning four. on doing six videos, but due to the weather being terrible, I only did four. Yeah, so probably all of you were wondering. Um, we originally had planned to come to Magic Mountain for two days and do a two-part vlog, uh, like two days, two vlogs for Magic Mountain, but uh, that didn't happen. I absolutely canceled. I was sitting in my hotel all day. Yeah, there was literally, yeah, it was a blizzard. If you look in the mountains, I'll show some pictures I got of the mountains, but uh, it it's covered in snow. It was a big storm. So what I did, what I did, um, Dean couldn't do it in the end, but... Uh, I went down to SeaWorld San Diego. We did a whole episode there, so go check that out. Uh, instead of doing another day at Magic Mountain. So we really only got one day at Magic Mountain, one day and a half, I guess. Uh, but I'm, I'm probably going to come back here soon. Because there's just so much I need to re-ride. It's just... Oh, no, like Viper. We, Viper is an awesome to, Aero Looper. We get to ride Viper, Revolution, any of the kitty coasters, Full Throttle, Goliath, Scree, Riddler, none of them. It's crazy. We missed so much. Not because we like wanted to skip it, it's because they've been closed. Yeah. So, like, Very sad. But um, we're going to do X2 now. Dean is going to be filming a reaction of us. Yes, I am so excited. It's both our number one coasters now. It's yeah. so good. I'm going to miss it. You know, we live 
3,000 miles away. And that's pretty depressing because I love this ride so I know. much. So, yeah, that's why I got to get back here because this is my new number one. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, X2. Hopefully, I mean, it is getting darker out, so hopefully close to a night ride. Yeah. Do you want to get in General Rider? It's 530, so. Uh, I think we should. And, yes, I don't think the line's actually that terrible. Yeah, so we'll see you guys on X2 with Dean's reaction. Remember, all of our on-ride footage is filmed with park permission. park permission. So stop bugging me every single day. It's park permission. You can easily get caught if you were filming illegally. Yeah, Magic Mountain's very strict about this. So, yeah, so please stop. <laughs> I, I, I hate waking up every day and being like, wow, another video of some, uh, another comment of somebody saying, illegal POVs is not illegal. Chill out. All right, well, see you guys on X2. All right, guys, about to get our last ride, X2. Uh, I road to side. Yeah, they're not doing row requests right now, so we're stuck in row two. Uh, Charlie's getting row one. Side seat, it's so good, like perfect for food. Yeah, but not not as much whip and stuff. Yeah, you know? but if you want the smoothest experience, you go inside front row right. Side. All right, well we'll see you guys on the ride. All right, guys, here we go on X two. You ready, Charlie? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Are you ready, Dean? Yes, I am. This is an insane coaster, guys. Like, I'm actually kind of scared. And I don't get scared on most coasters. But here we go. This is our last ride of our whole trip. So I hope you guys enjoy our reaction. Yeah. I love X2. We're about to go. I have a good amount of room. I hate how these restraints move. But uh, here we go. You ready? No, oh, not. shit. No, oh, bro. Whoa. Whoa. Outside seat better. I actually like the bounce. That was insane, guys. Holy shit. What a great way to end our 10 day California trip. Oh my god, that was so good. I know. That was so intense, so whippy. Like, even row two, it was still so good. I know. That is. That is definitely my number one. Very unpopular opinion, but the outside seat is better. I just, honestly, with the way X2 moves, I like the, like, I like the roughness of the outside seat. It's like the way it beats you up, you know? Uh, the, the, the jankiness and the bounciness of it is, like, insane. It gives air time. It gives, like, such an insane experience. This is the most insane roller coaster I've ever ridden. My number one. What did you think, Charlie? Wrap it up. That was perfect way to end i love the front i think it's better than the back and uh yeah that was uh terrifyingly fun yeah uh so i hope you guys enjoyed episode seven of west coaster tour and i hope you enjoyed the entire series if you have not watched the other episodes yet our series starts episode one at six flags discovery kingdom then Ooh. we make <laughs> then we make our way in episode two to California's Great America, a dying park. In episode three, uh, we hit up Knott's Berry Farm. In episode four, uh, we hit up uh, Universal. I mean, no, uh, episode four, we hit up uh, SeaWorld. Um, wait, what did we hit first? Uh, SeaWorld or... It was Disney. No, yeah, um, right, Disney. So episode four is Disney. Then episode five, you know, just here's the whole list of all the episodes. Check them out. Link up here. Link in the description and multiple off series videos from this trip are coming out soon. Um, so stay tuned for all of that. POVs, uh, reviews from the, the coasters we rode. 
And also make sure to check out uh, Dean's uh, yes. Coaster Tour series, California <laughs> Coaster Tour. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's really, it's been a long trip in good and bad ways. Uh, it, yeah. It's been, I mean, there were storms. There were some bad experiences at the park, like uh, like Kong. Kong was terrible. That's that's in episode one. Make sure to go check that out. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the series. Leave a like, subscribe, and stay on the thrill side. Okay.